then like the first half an hour of the game we basically agreed um, where our board would be and from there it's, it's just been me versus AIs the whole time. Alright, I'm good time pass. Um, I guess I am. I've forgotten what I was doing, but, uh, yeah. Aye! I'm building a fleet of transport ships so that I can transport a Tibetan marine force. Oh, I am building the Ultra Fleet. So, um, Great Emperor of Tang, are we going to do a joint war against Spain? Um, or did you have other things in mind? Um, that war would probably not be for another four or five years, as the Grand Imperial Fleet is in construction on basically every Chinese port. Oh, that's that's cool. Um, not in any rush, but it it does kind of pain me looking at that uh, Spanish bit of uh, Australia and New Zealand. Yes, of course we will. Uh... In fact, that was what I was waiting for. No, no, oh, no, never mind. We're not that far in the tech. That's not until 1700s. I almost thought that we were near uh, imperialism. Not quite. But yes, oh, yeah, so the colonials out of the various Asian islands is the goal. Calcutta. Awesome. Huh. Let's see, who, who is Spain allied with? The Knights, Austria, Portugal might be an issue. Yeah. I think combined we should surely have enough ships, because I think I had already surpassed Spain, if I remember correctly. With my own fleet. Let me go and look at the, the ledger. Someone sank my tax barges. Oh. Oh, did they? Six, 1,600 ducats down the toilet. Jeez. I, are you kidding? 1600. Yep. Well, I make 122, so that's you know, over a year's uh, worth of money. I make 47 ducats currently. Yeah, yeah Chimera, 55 heavy ships is the biggest fleet in the world. Um, well, biggest fleet of heavy ships. Actually, no, no, I do have a big fleet. Although, Spain has not built to their force on it. If they did, they'd have, like, double the amount of ships. Twenty-four, and this is twenty-one. So let's take you. And move you to... So... Here. I was still... I have... We're finding Spain, right? That was the plan. Uh, oh, are you yeah. joining in as well? Thanks. That would be awesome. Yes, I'm, I just need We're to move, like, my soldiers to the new world here. Uh... Yes, I believe the idea was to have the Japanese be uh, the primary fighting in the New World. I will not be able to defend the mainland on Edmissa, so I need you guys to uh, do the whole uh, naval stuff. Like, my naval sucks too, so... Okay, I got my coffee. Oh yeah, my exams, by the way. Oh yeah, what's, what's going uh, on with that? Well, um, I wrote like eight pages in two days. Um, and I need like minimum of 20. And I already had like, I don't know, at the moment I have 15. And I have to, until mm -hmm. 9th of, of February. It's kind of chaotic and nonsensical, but that's a good part of it. Like a lot of it is, is just notes and like, this is what you are going to talk about. This is the, the source you need, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, so. Like today, I'm going to um, and you split up and um, send it to my um, don't know, try that. Um, what was we even thinking here? I have to think at the same time. That's annoying. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to um, to send the crap notes to my. Uh, my uh, sensor leader, whatever, today. So um, then we have yeah, a meeting on Wednesday. Make oh, no. factories post haste. Oh. 
Oh god damn it, I took That's why I stacks. Okay. That's kinda dumb. Oh well. I couldn't remember what, what the hell my... Uh... Yeah, I definitely wanted that. Okay. Do you really think that there's... Um, Cossacks over here in Siberia game? Game's Just get the Cossack aggression event against Russia. That's what you get for, for having a border with Russians. For my border with them in Mongolia. You know, I don't think there was um, Cossacks in Mongolia. But yes, whatever those the iteration of a Russian is, it's bad. Wink at chaos. This transport will take forever. Oh, poor, poor Chuck Tamal. I'm too good for you, is it? So, can I get my. Pay Coco. One colony. Tomorrow conquests. It will take a. Bit of time until ready anyways here, so I think I'll just pop this. Where's Tonala even? I don't know. That's good. Ah, those. Okay. Fine. So remember, like, on the map that there was some nation that basically had all of Louisiana? So probably have to fight a few people here. Score is split. Ah, it's Spain. Okay. Spain is now fighting Tondo and Turnet, by the way. Ooh. Spanish conquest of Maqui and... Uh, against Tondo. Yep, so now they're getting eaten. Yep, they're eating Tondo. If the AI is smart enough to sail over there, which is a different question. Okay. They could like bring down a dead, or we could we could spam manufacturers everywhere. I think I, th I, th I think it's uh, yeah. We need some music. We could fix our debt, or we could just construct more things. Yeah, like... You know, the government model. Just to take a loan. And pay with that. Alright, I've built a big wall of forts along my northern border against Russia. Just Florida now. itself has 22k troops, and they have same military tech. It's okay. Portuguese use Mexico, Mexico is absolutely trash military tech. Spain prior is also awful. I mean, I'm not necessarily rushed into fight fighting them either way. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Like, I want to do it, but it will take a while for me to... It's got 20 prestige randomly. Okay.
So I'm building an inner ring and an outer ring of fortifications. Hmm. Well, I will note for uh, people's economies, since uh, depending on the size of our nation, it could be quite a lot of money. Um, we are about to have manufactories, which means the next one will be the Enlightenment. Oh, yeah. And uh, obviously, an institution called the Enlightenment has to be Tibetan. I'd like that. Yes. <laughs> that is very important. If you I'd don't like do that, that, I'll accept just, uh, just do... embracing it quickly. It doesn't if you don't matter do it, then we'll lose the run, Iggy. My important. friends, the first lesson of enlightenment. The Buddha did not become the Buddha because he achieved nirvana at age six. Do not rush into these things. <laughs> the path is infinitely more significant than the time. Now I'm going to spin around this little noisemaker for a little bit. So, Arutochi, how are you doing? On the Zero Soldiers, of course. I'm mean, actually considering just getting them to attack Haida or something, just to get their soldiers up. But they have a lot of stuff, though. I will also note for uh, in the Japanese so that uh, the remaining Mongolian land to the right side of uh, where I have taken things is also open season for you. The main thing that you're taking saying things is open season for me. Uh, yeah. talking about Mongolian land to the right of the things that yes. I've already taken. Uh, yeah, I remember. Oh, Kal Kalka just broke out. So yeah, we're going to war with Spain? Uh, I'm, um, I'm slowly getting my soldiers across. I'm definitely not ready yet. But, uh... Yeah, we need the Japanese soldiers in the New World, and we need the... Uh, Tang Imperial Fleet to be constructed. Well, I'm ready uh, whenever, more or less. I I'll could just actually take this build more ships. To Trans I yeah, I'm still transporting my soldiers. Kind of takes forever. So, everything going on. Do that. This is a uh, twenty-one. So it's a bit like this. Mm -hmm. You got transported. That going here. Uh, yeah, let's, let's open stuff up. Let's just march into Bay Coco with you. on the music, didn't I? Why is it playing? It just isn't. Yeah, it's been away. Oh, I want that province. I want the coal. Some of the.
By the way, just a reminder. The absolute annoyance that Chang Sheng exists. <laughs> Uh, is that our, our little green friend over there? Chen yeah. Sheng. Yeah, I like I say, I, I find it quite aesthetic on the map. Aesthetic. A, uh... Aesthetically disgusting. Aesthetic. <laughs> it's a buffer state between the, the three of us. It's, it's a very... Uh, a realistic, sensible thing to exist. I prefer the uh, Scandinavian way, where they have a uh, cairn in the middle of a lake that you can go walk around to walk between all three nations of uh, Sweden, yes. Norway, and Finland. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, if you scroll in um, on that little point where their three borders meet on Google Maps, you can probably find a street view of it. Oh. Was Norway or Sweden that like g gave gave a Finland a a mountain for its birthday? Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Holy oh my shit. god. Portugal, Kiss Mexico. Guys, look where it popped up. Uh, what popped? <laughs> Manufacturers, let's change the other thing. Uh, what? Then we got some China it somewhere. That's popped what? up in. Quanzu. Changzu. <laughs> Changzu. <laughs> well, I mean, that, that suits us, right? Yes, yeah. Let's go for me. Yeah. So see, no, actually, so it's how much every year. Ah, it's quite fast, actually. Just, just don't have these things. Yeah, it does factor off of the development in the area, I believe, but even so, it's... I'm you'll... sad that uh, Lhasa didn't get a development in the region, you said. Well, Lhasa's getting manufacturing 7.5 a year, so that's going to pop up really quick. I, uh, I'm seeing a rather large amount of ships uh, off Chinese coasts right now. Or yeah. on, the, on the coasts, I should say, or in the ports. It's nice to see. And I gained the victory card, our goal to control the entire area of West Guangdong. I still got one random here. Yeah, we, we, yeah. we left the victory cards on for some silly reason. More of that, like, I why not? Turn yeah. them off because they're just that unimportant. <laughs> they're a score related thing, so that way you can compare how amazing you are at game comparatively to other people. If you were playing anything competitive. <laughs> Oh my god, Portuguese Mexico is just gonna completely beat up by uh trash guns. I can only stop with that. Ah, uh, it's annoying. Uh, my next marathon idea gets me naval force on it plus fifty percent. I forgot about that. That's quite significant when you're already quite high in naval force on it. We shall flood the seas with ships. Flood the seas with ships. Pull up. Uh, there's a joke in there somewhere. So now I've built a few soldiers in Japan itself. Or will I? Yeah. Yeah. Watch this. Okay, next one. Oh, 
Okay, the first time it was a novel event. The second time having my tax barges sink is actually a little bit annoying. Peace. While Afghanistan declared war at the exact same time that I did. Like, they waited for me to wipe out Transoceania's army and then went for it. So I'm like, nice try, Afghanistan. I'm just going to cut you off at the border. <laughs> oh, those wacky Afghans. Remember that time that uh, Tibet said it was going to focus on inward perfection? Yeah. In one of my saves. I mean, I didn't say it would be this one. <laughs> and right now, frankly, Translashiana brought it upon themselves by being so, so vulnerable. Oh, there you'll be tasty. Does, uh, the, does the karma say that they're good to be vulnerable? See... Spain is still not going to arrive in Tondo yet. Jesus Christ, Spain. Could you have to kill her? Uh, can you guys remind me, is it better to... When you're attacking an, attacking an island where you could potentially do a straight crossing, is it... Does it make any difference whether you unload from ships directly onto the island, or attack across the straight side? Is, it, is there a better option either way? Or is it not the same penalty for both approaches? Uh, if you land directly on the island versus just mm. crossing the strait? That's what I'm asking, yeah. Um, I think there's actually a separate landing penalty, which is a little bit worse than just crossing a strait. Uh, so it's not really anything to do with... Yeah, I think they're two separate penalties, technically. I see. Call a spirit in the little ice age. Prepare for your economies to go garbage, depending on what uh -huh. you trade a lot of. Yeah. I mean, what fish hurts the but... bit. Oh, I just had the reverse. I won a siege that had gone to 64% against me just before my army arrived, and I'm like, ah, they're gonna get it, and then I'm gonna have to siege down level 3 for it. Uh, but they didn't get it, and now I get to destroy them. Get out of here, Artabill. Oh, my Artabill. My income has taken a hit since the start of the session. I was on 50, plus 50 per month, but now I'm down to 39. Not entirely sure why. I have started building more heavy ships, but I don't think that would be enough to account for the 12 dugouts a month. Oh yeah, that's probably why my economy is shrunk is because the amount of heavy ships.
Prussian Scandinavia. Wow. Oh, Russia, you insult me? Well, I'll insult you. Your vodka doesn't even taste that good. Fence pink. Yeah, Saga's way to go, man. Your nation would have already conquered China if you didn't have so many siestas. That, 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 that's what I got to insult. Speaking with. <laughs> you may have beaten me already if you hadn't been sleeping so much. Wait, how, how did Prussia take Sealand? Because I thought that was the capital of Denmark. You can't just take someone's capital, sure. Or can you? Yes, you can, certainly can. Now, how they actually walk there, um, good question. Oh, well, I would have thought, like, I'm not sure, sure I could have. The, the cost of taking Zealand would have been so high that I, I don't understand how they got all the rest of that stuff. Anyway. I mean, for me, it's 12% worth score, and it'd be a little bit extra due to... Okay. Yeah. I mean, even looking at that 50 development capital over there for the Khmer, it only says 18% war score. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. But that's what happens when you have... Uh, well, I guess I don't have a lot of absolutism. I only have 39. I think I'm actually perfectly content with that because I'm not going too high or too aggressive. Paper. Mm. Literally. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. It actually kind of hurts because a few of my places were paper. A few of uh, Japan's places were paper too. Someone think of the economy! Speaking of which, I wish my income would be stable. It seems to be fluctuating month to month by about five. Do you can't see the way? I think trade is probably happening. Yeah, I don't. Chando is just beating Spain's ass up without doing anything. Oh, they, uh, now they're attacking. Okay. But they are. Currently on. on Death's Land. What the? Well, just... I don't know. Not know. Just being what your force limits. I don't know, but they have 140k troops. Not like that at all.
I now have a tributary in R to build. Most disappointing. Disappointing for them, maybe, but they shouldn't have helped Transoceana then. My precious Artabil, my precious little boy. What have you done to him? Oh. Jeez, Chaos. First Hearts of Iron, now this. <laughs> Like, so Spain is trying to attack Tondo and have 42 k soldiers stationed in Daft's land for some reason. Not doing anything. Oh. Wait, how are they in my territory? I don't oh, know. Tonight is, um, tonight's an independent state, so it's not actually my territory. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Here we go. Yeah, the truce of Spain allied with Tondo. They already have like manufacturers and a lot of problems this year. Uh, just an update for uh, worry about the colonials. Portugal is nearly done um, where it is colonizing as well. So it is, it is filling out South Africa. All right. How goes the Japanese uh, shifting over to the New World? Yeah, it's going quite well. I'm trying to rush a uh, cold promise before they get it, which is annoying. But, um, yeah, that's basically it, honestly. Oh, you're talking about the two boom and yeah, it takes forever. Um, like crossing the Pacific, even up in the north, takes so long. The Imperial Fleet has been constructed and is now docked at Beijing. Awesome. Behold the glory. The actually very expensive glory. That is actually <laughs> quite big. Yep. One hundred and sixty ships of which sub of which Oh uh, is anyone else here? Yes, yeah, I'm here. Okay. I, uh, just everyone was quiet, so I wasn't sure if it was me who just disconnected or if it was Daft. Oh, the answer was Daft. Daft. Yeah, I see that. His, uh, connection couldn't handle the sheer strength of the Chinese wheat. He couldn't handle the sheer strength of Big Tibet. Like, is this, is this fleet still bigger than yours, though? Maybe it's... total. It is. Also, one thing that really cracks me up is I wasn't able to occupy the last bit of Transoxiana because the Afghans took it, and then the Afghans didn't even take it in the peace. 
No, oh, it's so annoying when that happens. Whatever. Actually, Merv has 11 development. It's kind of nice. Oh, I'll see if we can hop join them back in. Uh, I don't remember if I actually turned that on because I'm. You never remember, I remember if you turned it on, but we haven't tried yet. Well, I okay, that's there. trying to get the internet's back. Alright, so I'm looking at the people who I've got aggressive expansion with. It's fun to see that the Ottomans are a little bit pissed off at me. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. That was weird. I don't ah. know what happens. Um, Router was still up, Wi-Fi was still working, but my the connection on my PC just broke, ah. really. Strange. Yeah. Your connection couldn't handle the sheer strength of the Imperial fleet. Uh, apparently. It, uh, it broke my internet. So too many... Too many ships. Too high numbers. So of course I have to reboot the game. Not sure where to get quality of... So just probably just get a... Uh, oh, I want it... I... I see a defensive ready here. There's a quality artillery bonus. I'm the debating combat. quantity at this point. Yeah, me too. But it's just like, I need the... Because quality has a bunch of naval stuff that I really do not care about. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, like, getting more, <laughs> more uh, infantry combat ability plus discipline for me would be... Like, Amazing. Um, what's my discipline at the moment? 112. Uh, it says, contact your server. Please wait for the server to accept or deny your request. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, hobo, have you yes. got a request? It should be on the left, just below your flag. Hello. Hobo? hobo. Uh, there we oh. go. Oh, it looks like I'm in. I almost so. clicked the button. Oh, I i got to download and save, of course. Well, yes. that's, that's fine. This is going to take uh, a couple of minutes, apologies. Probably not too long. I can already see the green little bar extending across the D of Aft Panzer. Aft Panzer? Yes, as opposed to the Four <laughs> Panzer. You've got the Aft Panzer and the Four Panzer. <laughs> now, uh, now I'm imagining like a Chinese uh, Imperial uh, super junk, and it has two tanks uh, either end of the ship for some reason. Exactly. Um, yeah, I just parked there on the deck with the, the turret swinging around. Twenty-five percent. So I'm working to head off a potential coalition. Right now, Persia and Bengal are upset at me. But I think I can get Persia under control. Bengal, I don't care. To Bengal, I say, come at me, bro. <laughs> I'm so fortified on my borders, like, they could just start running at my borders, I'll let them attrition for, like, half a year, and then I'll fight them. But yeah, going for uh, going for quantity ideas could give me some nice manpower pool, because I think I probably have the worst manpower pool of all of us. It peaks out at seventy thousand. Ah, that's. I mean, it's it's not bad, but it's not 
Amazing. It's not bad, but it's not great, especially given how big my font is, you see. As uh, Hobo was saying earlier, mm. the font is actually the uh, the, the game-winning thing here. Uh, yeah. Who has the font at the moment? Is it me? me? Uh, oh, damn it. Yeah. Although, technically, we can't directly compare any letters because no letters are shared between Tibet and Japan. Well, this is quite obvious. Wait, actually, um, no, you you are uh, you're, you're bigger. You are bigger. You're like a uh, few points, at least. I am it's... even also uh, slightly larger letters than Russia. Yes, but the question is, what happens when I annex Udega in a few years? That's what I'm thinking about. When Japan flips itself upside down because it gets confused. Yeah, it's gonna be great. I I hope it's just like then Japan will just see. <laughs> Kanchatka again, something great. It'll get all bent over and become the Japangle. Yes. Also, I like I added the new, um, improved meme to my uh, maximum improvement. My stream. It's very important. I think next we have a few ideas of what it could be. Personally, I'm interested to see what meme you come up with for East Indies, West Indies. Ooh. Does Japan? Uh, yeah. Does Tibet still really have the tentacle though? Mm -mm. It's no no longer really a tentacle, and now it's more sort of like a just show a picture of like lava just gradually burying something, or <laughs> an amoeba um, phagocytosing something. Yeah, I need to update that, but it was like that at the start of the session at least. No, it wasn't. Sure. It stopped being that way last session. Damn it. Well, but I need to update it. Also, like Japan, all over. To the corner isn't a thing anymore either. To be fair, yeah. even Tibet doesn't know what's going on in deep interior Tibet. <laughs> Ooh, initializing game. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you for your patience. I hope it won't immediately disconnect again. That's fine. All right. I will uh, make sure that every everyone remembers what they were doing. And yes, I'm ready to go. Yeah, good to go. And considering like being an asshole, like or not, I don't think it's like an asshole thing, but I want like a fort in a specific part of uh, Arutochi. I should like drain like thirty percent of their income if I build it, but you know, no, it would be great for me to block the north off. Yeah, so let me take most of your income. It'll be great for me. Daddy, no! Yeah, I think I'll start building that fort. I guess to prevent the... the Iberians from going... around the north. Damn it, they got the coal province! Well, I, I mean, I'll get it, but... that's annoying. Damn it, I was like... Plenty of away. time to get those... those provinces, surely. Yeah, exactly. One would hope. All right, now you are there. So let's take. Let's see, we need this army to combine. Yes. Six. Yes. That is fine. Right, so you move to California. I mean, it's a long, long march around the along the coast, but you'll be fine. So uh, the only problem with the Grand Imperial Fleet is that it is several boats too big. Too big? Did you go over your naval uh, force, man? Yes, by um, 
24. So I'm paying an extra 15 ducats a month to have this fleet. Oof. Did not realize it would be that much. Portuguese makes it cool. That's kind of bad at the moment. What's the military like? What's our force limits? 26. Bay Coco is. Windy. But Portuguese Mexico is kind of screwed up at the moment. There's still See? a Bahiana province in Khmer. Uh, that's good. Not in the main one, surely. Uh, yeah, it's the uh, territory next to Changsheng. Oh, yeah. Look at him. We it, we expect him to defend the faith, and what does he do? He doesn't even. Oh, I mean, it's, it's definitely expanded a bit. Does it even remove the inferior faiths? Well, you say mm, inferior. I think our... Uh... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, because Chaos is Vajrayana. So I think that is literally the last holdout of Mayhayana. Possibly in the world. Goodness. Maybe I should leave it there as a kind of... Yes, I, I was immediately going to say, he's going to say he's going to leave it. Because it's the last of something. It's also and not the it, last of something because Mahayana Buddhism is the Buddhism practiced in China, Korea, and Japan. It's just they portray them in-game as Confucian or Shinto, so... No, it's huh. it's definitely not the last Mahaya and the Buddhists. Okay. Well, I feel I feel good about um, eliminating them there. Yeah, Theravada is like re just remember my meme about you know the Chad Theravada and the and the version mm. uh, Mahaya. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely true. You don't need three uh, Buddhists in your temple. One Buddhist plenty good, and it doesn't need to be golden. <laughs> I I actually don't know why you insist on doing the polar opposite you do as the Smeeple's daft. Um, oh, well, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, mean, I, I, I was going to come up with an argument, but then I'm like, actually, yeah, like... Smeeple's have pretty much taken every territory they possibly could, so... Yeah. Well, um, I am at least ready to bully the Spanish as they deserve. Um, Almost across with my fleet here. Um, um, the um? I, I'm very close to vassalizing Nogai. You can see I gave them all their cores. Ah, so you want to wait until. Yeah, I just uh, want to wait so that I can vassalize them first. Well, if you guys can uh, just give me a, a couple of months' notice, I can get my fleet out of being mothballed on my army. Uh... Uh, you may want to start de mothballing them now, then, because I know it'll take like a year. Uh, okay. And uh, depending on that relation that uh, Chaos has over there, it'll take very long. Oh my goodness, he's still got negative acceptance because of my aggressive expansion. And he should really like you. He has 190 relations, so that should be enough. He's got 50 positive re reasons and negative 86 negative re reasons. It's kind of weird. Different religious group, I guess.
Yeah, what were the reasons? Uh, economic base minus 56. Yeah, giving him all of his land back actually made that worse. Yeah. Oh, well. They were all fairly mediocre provinces. Mediocre. The question is whether I should do like a Canada or just expand our Arutochi. I actually don't know. That'd be a good call. How's this wall going for you, Beikaku? Beikaku, not great. Alright, just got uh, Diplotech 20. Seriously, no guy's making such a bad mistake by not accepting my vassalage, because the alternative is I'm going to break my alliance with them, so that I can vassalize them by force later. But in doing so, that opens up a big chance for Russia to, like, grab them. Which means that I would need to grab all that stuff around Russia, which means there's no point in doing this anyways. I want to help no guy get their cores back, you see. Actually, we could possibly game it a little bit by having one of you guys guarantee no guy for a while. While I'm going through true summer. Anyways, I'm good to go. I have one back. more army marching. It shouldn't take long. I don't know. Wait, I actually don't know how long it'll take. He's still in Alaska, but after that, I'm pretty much ready. He's almost there. Uh, yeah, I have all of my armies across the, the the Pacific at this point. That I want, of course. So I'm assuming that uh, the Khmer shall handle much of the Pacific island hopping. Um, sure. Region. I'll certainly go to, um, yeah, northern coast of Australia. And I'm a bit confused. To t okay, yeah, so Spain has taken Buru and Suwa. I can in... also land some guys in Africa. I'll be busy in, I'll go Indonesia first and then Australia. Yeah. So I've got 87 heavy ships here. That might be overkill for Indonesia and I Spain sends a whole lot for you over. I'm wondering if I should join up with you, Hobo, uh, expecting Spain to fight in the South African region. You well, know. that's where my boats are uh, going to start sailing a bunch of people. Right now, in fact. I wonder if I should split my fleet and send like 44 heavy ships to South Africa just to make sure that we completely stomp them. Uh, well, let's look right. at the navy sizes. They only have 32 heavy ships, and Portugal yeah. only has 18. Mm hmm Because Portugal is going to be in on this as well, of course, because they're allied with Spain. Who else is going to be on the, in on this? Austria and the Pope. Oh, Austria was kind of beat up in this game. Yeah, Pope is not, though. He must beat up how oh, I see that he lost Perugia at some point. Is there a particular reason why the British own Croatia? What? Oh. <laughs> they probably Europe. get a personal union. Europe is so cursed in this timeline. What, what the <laughs> hell is happening? This is what happens when there's no player in Europe. Yeah. Okay, Spain announced me as arrival. Okay. Okay, he's made it to uh, Vancouver. Now he's crossed into the mainland. I like that Squamish is like... I, I, I read about the pig war, um, which is hilarious. So, apparently, I'm a bit sad that in this game, the island is actually just part of the, the, the coastline. You guys know what that is? Sorry, what? Uh, the pig wall. 
in the, like almost half between Canada and the States. Oh, the the pig war, did you say? I vaguely yes. remember it was something about a. It's like a, an argument over where the border went precisely, and I was splitting yes. an island in half, and I was like yes. taking the middle of it or something. And the, yeah, the, I, like exactly, that's like border dispute, like a territorial dispute over the island, um, mm. and then uh, like the pig kept. There's like two people living, and then like um, the one group's potatoes was so from like British Empire, and one was uh, had a had like. The pig and sheep, mm. um, and was from the states. Um, and then, like, like, um, so the pig kept eating the guy's potatoes. So the guy with the potatoes shot the pig. Oh, and because right, of that, yeah. it just started <laughs> escalating. Like, um, and there's this moron general that showed up on the island. Like, okay, this is, uh, and they just like started occupying it. Um. Oh, what the hell is this? Let's see, new construction. One of my favorite stories is still the uh, the war over the bucket, which is uh, two Italian city states being really, really angry at each other for like three hundred years until it finally culminated in the theft of a wooden bucket. Wow. Uh. I'm assuming there's more to that story. Like, <laughs> uh, 300 years going. of two families hating each other. I don't see how it ends with the festival of wooden bucket. That's it's not quite like. In terms of escalations, I mean, it's not that particularly uh, escalatory. I guess I'll need to Google that later on. Okay, it's made it to California, like uh, the the weird tentacle land part of California. Um, yeah, I'm basically. All right. I also just completed exploration ideas, so I'm no longer having oh, uh, naval force limit issues, which is nice. positive. All right, are we ready to crush the filthy colonials and get them the heck out of here? Um, yes, although I'll be busy for a Rebellion. while dealing with rebellions in Indonesia, but my fleet can certainly go and do stuff. Looks like there is a 14,000 Spanish army on Buru, just to uh, note that. Uh, where is that, sorry? On Buru, one of the islands in Indonesia. Oh, yeah, I see that, okay. yeah. Oh, I'm going to have more than that in the regions. Uh, Right. I just hope I can beat up the Colonials. What's the biggest Florida? 30,000 Florida, probably that's itself. That's actually kind of bad. They do have bad, bad military tech, though. Um, but yeah, I have like... How many of this? I actually don't know. One, two, um, three... Four... Five and a half. Can I ask you how both for fleet basing rights so I can go over to uh, Africa? Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello, sorry. Knock on my door. Alright, I've sent my fleet sailing whenever you're playing war. Uh, how about right now? Okay, sure. I'm basically ready. I've erased my troops yep. and everything. Make sure I have all the claims I can. And. Make sure it's for a claim that I can easily get to. Like. Okay, that was not right now. I believe it was. The I Tibetan just... Marines are landing on the island of Sula. <laughs> it is time to invade Portuguese Mexico. All right. I am uh, immediately flooding on uh, Asia, and my boats 
are just going to sit here in the Cape of Good Hope. So if they want to get anywhere, um, they are going to have to go through my ships. Or oh, this is around. interesting. Because I got Beikoku to declare the war before me, they're actually not called in in a big war. That oh. is actually quite useful, because then I could just, like... Hmm. Oh, I just defeated a Spanish fleet um, right, do you guys want to... oh. south of... Uh, oh, where is it? South of India, basically. South of the Maldives. Uh, does anyone want to help me take out that Spanish garrison on Buru? Sorry, where is Buru again? I think it's been mentioned it's, a couple uh, of times. It's a little island in the middle of Indonesia. Um, certainly. So I've got I've got forty two thousand troops, but they're they're dealing with a rebellion at the moment. Okay, well in done. that case, I'll send my army to Australia and conquer Spanish Australia. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. How much does it cost to burn down a colony? Can I still do that, right? You could also um, because uh, Spain owns do they own the Maldives or they they own the island south of the Maldives. No, yeah, yeah, VJ they, they own a lot of island. islands in the Indian Ocean, but I'm frankly scared mm -hmm. of their fleet catching me and totally wiping out my entire expeditionary force. Well, that's fair. So, uh, Hobo, let me know if you spot the Spanish fleet. I'm actually... I was going to send 47 heavy ships over to South Africa, but... It looks like Spain's hanging around in the Indian Ocean, so I'm, I'm going to try and concentrate my fleet, sir. Sure. Just to make sure. But if... If you spot them, by all means, let me know. I'll, I'll double back. Okay, rebellion crushed. I just got to teach down the stuff, which shouldn't take too long. Yo, nope, Austria, I don't think hiring the French army is going to help very much. Saying. Law Artevel's civil warring. That's what they get for helping. I probably should have built more transport ships. My fleet are transports. I see uh, Sue uh, occupied by Tibet. Yeah, I'll transfer that to you. No, oh, I, I'm just. <laughs> I've got to admit, I find it quite uh, awesome that. That Tibet, Tibet has boats. <laughs> <laughs> we are now. Not Tibet. only that. Not only that, but is active in Indonesia. I, I, I demand to be referred to by my true name, Tibet. <laughs> As in, get into port. Uh, also, yeah, it looks like the Spanish colony is trying to beat up your colony, so yeah, I'm coming in to show up what's what. Oh, yikes. Oh, yeah, they're getting ruffled. See that uh, Florida they? and Louisiana from Spain is going north here, so I need to deal with that. I'm just going to uh, assault Baru right now. And then uh, I'll be able to ferry troops to Australia. Oh, um, my dudes have uh, they've taken New Zealand at least. I guess that's why they sent all the troops. That makes sense. Oh, I'm losing this 
Battle on Brew, I think it's, it's an island oh, invasion. Oh, I, I should have had some of my... Uh, no, I think you're... Mm, ooh, that's going to be close. Yeah. I do I do have reinforcements I can send. Uh, um, you know what? I think, I think this is... You're just barely going to win it. Hmm, it's a close one. You're not kidding. It is an island invasion after all. And I won! Wow. That was close. That was too close. Jeez, oh. I'm currently using 32 Dugats a month. It's kind of expensive with this fleet and army at max. Fortunately, I have 2,500 Dugats in the treasury, so it should be good for a while. I see uh, 38 Spanish ships off the north coast of Australia. I'm trying to intercept them. <gasps> oh no! They're going right. to catch my fleet! Wait, no, they, yeah. they're going somewhere else. Right, um, they're going half for Alaska. Um, I'm winning a siege race, but uh, it's uh, it hurts. Like, really, it should be fine. But it hurts. <laughs> God damn it, Spain. I've been bamboozled. So I went north of Papua New Guinea because I thought I was going to intercept the Spanish fleet, but they actually doubled back, went back south around Papua New Guinea. I don't know where they're going now. Anyhow, I will uh, unload on Australia. Join the party. Not to be that guy, but I did notice that apparently um, one of my lands wanted to rebel at a very, very inopportune time. Hmm. That's rebels for you. Well, I don't. I have literally zero people remaining on the mainland. Oh yeah, sport is paying off. Paying off. It's great. Ah, fantastic! The resource produced in this uh, territory in South Africa is, 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 is slaves. Oh. Actually, no, I shouldn't attack yet. Can I cancel that? Yep. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm moving, yeah. but you see, I haven't explored these interior territories yet, so it takes me a very long time to move through them. Yeah, I think my uh, my units are quite damaged, so I thought I'd hold position for all of them. I'll transfer control of these territories to you. Oh, yeah, don't worry about that just now. We can, I guess we can sort that out later. I might catch those Spanish ships that just left port. I'll try. Pew pew. Uh, multiple sea battles happened at once. I think I won them all. Maybe. Alright, I've oh, transferred port. all of Tierra Austral over to your control. Thank you very much, sir. I yeah, appreciate it. I see you're chasing down uh, that Portuguese fleet. I'll I was just going to say, yeah, but Portugal has appeared. Ah, yes, the um, wild Portugal. 
That reminds me, because Portugal what has we're gonna do about, uh, I just noticed, um, I also have to send some guys over to deal with uh, Tasmania. Oh, right, yeah. Um, well, I can double back. Uh, yeah, I've, I've also got my transport, but sadly I just gave you all my stuff that I can dock in. Trying to catch Portuguese fleet, which just uh, looks like a reinforced one of our islands over here. Yeah, I'm not going to catch it. Damn it. Oh, hang on. There's a Papal fleet down in the far south. There's a 45 fleet of Pope. <laughs> the old Papal ships off Australia in, was it 1650 Tasmania, something? Yeah. Uh, I just cannot catch these enemy ships. Well, I guess because they are fighting heathens. Pope would uh, be interested. Sure, but I mean, yeah, does the papacy have the uh, have the capacity to sail all the way they around? They clearly the world do, thing. because I saw forty-five of their boats down here, and I'm like, send my fleet of seventeen boats with no leader. <laughs> Uh, I see Romy's been caught in southern Australia. Oh, uh, shoot, yes, it has. My army's on the way, but it's not going to make it there in time, I don't think. I'm sorry about that. Alright, going in now. Alright, seems like I'm soon be fighting in the... Uh... Oh, yeah. This looks good. So apparently, my, my um, I, I had like a 5,000 tr strength uh, units that actually... Oh, I, I wiped them now. Okay. I mean, it was not much more than they were, but still. It's, um... Oh, they're coming to the west there. Okay. Um, how's the Portuguese part of the war looking at the moment? Alright, I'm landing a guy in Tasmania. Oh, thank you. I was just about to do the same. And I'm also chasing down the guys who fled over to Adelaide. Okay, actually the Portuguese main main Portuguese troops has now landed in Portuguese Mexico to try and uh, clear this shit up. Like, look at Portuguese Mexico; it's not going well for them. Like, regardless of me, it's a. Uh... They retreated. Yeah, I see the occupied by the natives over there in yep. Mexico. It was actually even before my war. That's interesting. And I'm so happy I built that northern thing there because if you look at it, um, sieging down like Alaska, they have to get through that province. Oh, the other guys are going. Okay, I'm just reducing my 10,000. Quite fine. Oh, thank you very much, Tibet, for helping out in Australia. Yeah, I really appreciate it. We got you. Uh, I might nice actually have to. Just let me uh, help you out with Tasmania, because I think your troops are attrition, so they're no longer yeah, sleeping. Yeah, yeah, they're going to come back, and uh, well, that's kind of a. They're 999. Well, I'm lighting for guys, so. I'm unloading uh, another arm, just to make sure. Yeah, that is 45 papal boats sailing the ocean. I 
I think what's even more amazing is that those papal boats had to go sail through the Pacific to get over here. Because <laughs> I'm literally blocking the only sea tile around Africa. <laughs> Oh my god, oh. I think I think uh Bekoko is beating up the Portuguese. That's uh that's nice. Let's move to the west and you oh. There's a Portuguese fleet off the coast of New Zealand. Uh sorry, Caribbean fleet. Uh daft. I see it. Yep, I'm heading out that way. Let's see if we can intercept. Get, grab New Caledonia. I'm so proud of my uh, day Katango Bang boys. Well done, Katango Bangers. I love like the AI is like, okay, I have to attack what's easiest for me to do anything about, and just like, stuck in Alaska, like... <laughs> so many soldiers. Battle of Cook Straits. I think I'm we got this. My army in New Caledonia. Oh, that's Portuguese as well, thank you. Um, right, I'm gonna send my troops up to... Uh... Yam Dina, which is just off uh, Australia. I forgot there's a lot of miscellaneous Portuguese islands, so I'll try and do something about those. Um, Hobo, have you seen any Spanish uh, navies going past nope. Cape of Good Hope? No. They would have to sail directly into me. Yeah. There goes the Rio de la Plata fleet. What is the name of the two inland territories of Australia that uh, uh, are owned by the Spanish? Because since I don't see them, I don't have a name for them. They're Wiradjur. There's three of them. Oh wait, hang on. But the ones, oh, the ones owned by Spanish. There's the Spanish only own one inland territory, and that's Actually, Barangam. B a r u n. Uh, bizarrely, I can't see that either. It's also Torrent Incognito for me. Okay, uh, well, I went there. Its name is B-A-R-U-N-G-G-A-M. Okay, I just need to know the name so I could actually select it. Oh, well, I see where they are. They are at Cameroon. Huh? Well. How many? Uh, enough. Like, a full... Well, there's actually no heavy ships, but they do have a full complement of soldiers trying to land at my Cameroon. Uh, I'm going to just do some there. island hopping through the Pacific for a bit. Sure, I um, I'm actually get some more troops before I invade Yamdina. Uh, yeah, so it might be a bit rough otherwise. Let's see. Where are my dudes? Uh, you go back that way then. Come on, my dudes. Uh, there's a Portuguese fleet off of New Caledonia's coast. Yeah, unfortunately I can't do anything about that right now. My fleets are out of position. Um, okay. Uh, in that case, I'll hold off on my own hopping for a bit. I've got, I've got a fleet on the way, but it's going to take a while. Uh... Wow, they got away just in time. 
There you go, West. Oh, I'm going to catch 18 Portuguese f ships in the, the Gulf of Cumbria, it looks like. Eat this. I don't even have an Admiral on that fleet, jeez. Um, well, I guess having nine heavy ships helps. Okay, I think that threat is... oh wait, no, there's another fleet over there. I'm heading out to New Caledonia, Chaos, just to let you know. Excellent. So the, uh, the coast should be clear, so to speak. I'm actually very surprised that this is going so well over here. I guess it's um I guess just like you guys navies and everything just screwing you know, up hard enough them just having an decent time. To be fair we haven't really fought yet, but you know. Uh there is a Portuguese island in the middle of Indonesia. It does look mm. like that they have a they have ships there and people there. Is it uh, Yam Yamdina? I am heading That's to that right now. With I have. Uh, uh, it is Yamdina. Game? Just off, um, directly north of the kind of center northern point of Australia is where I'm attacking right now. Literally, how? What's wrong? Um. Ow, 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 okay, where did that, oh, yeah, that's where that army came from. I swear to God, you better move. Uh, it's not going to go well now, is it? So, the AI pulled a sneaky, and I may mm. end up having to pause here, just to make sure I don't lose something. So around Only. the same time that uh, the Spanish army that landed in Cameroon came to an army I had down there, I realized the Austrians and the Italians have walked to Africa. What the heck? That's like opposite <laughs> of sneaky. How? We call wow. that inverse sneaky. I mean, are the, all the Muslim nations of North Africa just allowing them to move armies for a yeah. I assume? I mean, Kilwa hates me, Yemen's probably ambivalent, Mamluks and the Ottomans. Well, I know we're busy with all things, but apparently in over the Hollandia has basically taken the rest of the Americas at the moment, so I will start colonizing uh, Philippines now. Wow, wow, wow. And uh, every single general I rolled has been hot garbage. Oof. Which has not helped this endeavor in the slightest. Thank you so much, Chaos. You've been amazing taking these islands. Thank you. Thank you, Chaos. You're amazing. Oh, I mean, you were all amazing in different ways, but uh, just from experience of, you know, how difficult it is to micromanage and invade. Oh, 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 my fleet got caught, my fleet got caught, my fleet got caught. Where, 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 North of... I, North I told my... Uh, New Zealand. I see it, I'm on the way, but I gave my fleet, I shouldn't have done that, I gave my fleet an AI controlled mission to hunt oh, out enemy oh. fleets in the South West Pacific and it decided to go to off the south coast of New Zealand. Alright, every time a boat sinks a thousand men will go down. Come on. Uh, oh, they left. Yay, well, they left. 
Okay, I'm going to just hunker down here until you guys can back yeah. me up while I do island hopping. Oh, I see you're here. Yeah. On the way. Actually, I... did you just attach your fleet to mine? I'm sure, actually, yeah. I could do that. 24 right. heavy ships, 28 line ships. Uh... Yeah, if you could just follow my guys around, that'd be awesome. Alright, can you attach? Uh, let's see. Um, goodness, how do I do this with... Alright, I have uh, a lot of friendlies to attach. I, I didn't have a lot of... No, no. There you go, got it. To. Yep, yep. Sweet. Alright, awesome. I'll move on to Twilight. That time, the Chinese fought the Austrians and the Italians in South Africa. <laughs> Historical gameplay. I don't know if you guys can see South Africa. I can. I'm, then, I'm yeah. focused on other things right now. Not all of it, though. A lot of it. I can't see the inland area, but I can see the coast. Ah, I'm fighting them in the inland area. Or oh, I'm about wow. to. What? The zone is literally named Alaskan Panhandle. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So see that uh, Caraibas has arrived. All right. Okay, so I think we need to move east. Oh my god, are my, oh, actually, am I really that bad? Ow, 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 ow. Why do I have less morale than the god... Blasted... I really expected my troops to be better at this point, honestly. Like, I have quality. That's... You're, you're kidding me, game. Okay, this just went from uh, rough to big ouchies. Because guess who just had a stack wipe? Oh, okay. God. Oh, that's not good. And may end up getting a third. Or a second, rather. Nope. <sighs> really? Okay, screw you, game. This went from a solid, okay, that was kind of annoying, to solidly screw you. I genuinely don't know how my troops aren't comparable to the Austrians. I guess they have offensive as well, and they have... Ugh. Oh... There goes all of my manpower. So the only thing I'll ask for from this war is money, because I need it badly. Yeah, uh, now, you might be aware I, that I'm... now... Now I need money, because now I need to actually fight the Austrians out here, in the middle of bleeding nowhere. Alright, I'm taking the society islands and I'm heading to Tuamotu now. My original plan was to actually get war score, get war score from actually landing in Spain eventually, not having an army struggle with Austria in uh, the Austrian king out in South Africa. Jesus, just realized, wow. just led by their king. Wow. I respect the dedication. I think it's stupid, but I respect it. <laughs> okay, by Coco, finish the wall. So now makes it goes actually kind of fair again. Okay, it's kind of dynamic up here. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. I'm transferring all these islands to the Khmer. Thank you so much. Now I really need to think about what my next idea is going to be, because it obviously has to be something combat related. Um, Chaos, I did see your Portuguese fleet heading 
through uh, past the south coast of New Zealand. I don't know where they've gone. I don't think they're heading towards Australia, but our combined yeah, fleet should be able that. to should be able to squish it with our combined fleet. Yeah, we'll be good. I'm tempted to land in South America. Well, I'm sure my troops would be happy to go on an adventure. Oops, Spain, um, Spain has landed in, in America now. That's interesting. Let's see, we need 40,000 troops for that. Okay, so let's put you here. Should be fine. Well, I think my next target will be uh, uh, da, 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 a, a Ciati Diego Garcia, which nice. is wait. So I was already I hope he's already got that. Excellent. Efficiency. Efficiency. I think. Oh yeah, I just see seven Portuguese ships uh, south of Easter Island. Progress. Uh. Oh, good. Get out of that's, here, Mr. You know, Pope. That's, you know, 35,000 men that I was initially fighting. Gone. Say goodbye uh, Austria, to nope. Austria, definitely a little bit more persistent on being in here, though. Austrians have never been accused of being a uh, not stubborn country. The knights are also down here, too. So do we just want to stick to islands? I think I'll stay off the mainland for the time being. Just because I'm still dealing with a relatively small fleet. I'm now facing down actual armies in, the, in America. Um, just because it's going to make it... Yeah, I was going to say death. Just because it'll make it annoying for me to actually give the land back. You get rid of those stupid peasants. In Australia, um, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to sort that out now. I've got reinforcements on the way, so they should be able to squish. This little squish army is going to have the best stories. <laughs> it's seventeen thousand Tibetans just cruising through the South Pacific. <laughs> I might sail to Spain, if I can. Actually, I'm going to hang out on Easter Island a bit longer, because uh, the ships are getting worn down a bit. I need to rebuild them a bit. Oh shoot, Bahmanis are yeah, fighting it... uh, Vigianagar again. If it wasn't for the um, 53,000 Austrians in South Africa, where the war goal is, I will note, um... I certainly uh, would already be in Spain. Instead, I am in Spain, but the S is silent. Eh. <laughs> Just quiet, dejected. All right, that was yeah. awful. Okay, so if I do this, uh, how much does it cost at the moment? Do I need to go back to friendly territory to rebuild these ships? Actually, I'm not sure. If... Uh, oh, yeah. they have. Yeah, they aren't healing dock. when I just have them docked. On they areas of the sea, so I'm going to sail them back to. Uh, no, no, they should. They just only repair every month. They repair every month. I know. Yeah, they're just not. I've left them ticking for two months, and they're not healing. So I'll send them that... back to uh, friendly territory first. Sadly, shouldn't be the case, which is odd. Well, it is the case, unfortunately. 
Oh, Great Britain's allied Austria. Well, good news. If we sit here for nine more months, we can just kick Austria out because they'll be bored. The king is like, well, why am I still over here? Oh, that's what... Hey guys, could you look Let's at go. Vienna for me? Yeah, I'm looking at Vienna. And uh, what's so important about Stierski Hanek? <laughs> Do you see the problem with Vienna? Mm. I don't see any problems with Stierski Hanek, and I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that 16,000? Pegu troops who presumably marched all the way across Asia. <laughs> yeah. through, through. Oh, dude, Tibet, Pegu, good Russia. job, Pegu, my boy. <laughs> That's my nice boy. And, 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 Anx, and Anx asks why I like vassals so much. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, let's see here if I can. I think these two are not. You think your Tibetans out in the ocean are gonna have a fun, a fun okay. tale to tell? I'm gonna fight now the Spanish themselves. Actually, let's, let's can I do something quickly? Um, no, uh, has remains to remain to unpaused. Yeah, I have to uh, make a loan here. So if a loan here, there you go. Then we pay for this embrace. Plus one military tick. That's it. Okay. Let's see how this battle goes. I am winning. However, they're coming the other side. Oh, it's not, I'm not winning. I'm not winning at all. Uh, I just I? lost. I just lost a heavy navy battle off the coast of Morocco. I'd sent my uh, fleet up there to uh, see what they could do. I think I oh, lost. Oh that. yeah, I see. I see. That's where all of their fleet is, including the colonial ships. Yeah, oh, I lost boy. quite a lot of ships. But I mean, the good news is it's reduced my uh, expenses per month. So I'm now. Uh, I'm losing so um, on the one hand, I could peace Portugal out right now. On the other hand, doing so would uh, prevent us from taking anything from them. What do you think? Seriously, so my fleet is retreating, but rather than going um, to any of your ports, so both they're, they're trying to go all the way around peace Africa. Portugal, or what was it? The the ships are just dying. Oh, they're, you know what? They. Oh, I don't have any ports over there. They're but dying you, you, to the attrition of being in hostile waters. But you, you've got like Tang Congo, and they're wanting to retreat all the way back to. This is so ridiculous. So they're trying to retreat all the way back to Indonesia when they could have docked anywhere in Africa, basically. So I've just lost. Uh, Jesus Christ! I just lost like twenty, thirty heavy ships just. They, they would have. They would have done that anyway because they're sailing across That's... lands that are providing attrition and there's no nearby friendly ports. But, but there are, you've got them. And got... Oh, you know what? I think I found I, out all I, the problem. I, I have one port out here right now. That is ridiculous. What the heck? Uh, guys, I, fi I figured out the problem with why my ships weren't healing. I had no sailors. Ah, yeah, that would explain it. Oh, I'm, I'm done with this wall. This is just ridiculous now. Uh, Dad, yes, I, I've, over there. I've docked a fleet in New Zealand. Um, you can detach your guys from mine now because my my troops are no longer useful. Okay. Um, I need to get more of a coastline so that I can get more sailors. Or I can build some things, perhaps. Okay, the Europeans are marching Vienna forwards. Vienna seized by Tibet. Say again? Vienna sieged by Tibet. Love it. Well, don't look a gift horse in the snout. No, I'm not looking a gift tree. horse in the elephant. I also like that Pegu is here with elephants, just marching through the Balkans with elephants. Wait, Austria out? Oh, yeah, we peace out Austria. I got war reparations from them, too. Oh, nice. I could really use some of that because I went deeply into debt during this war. I'll see how much the war reparations are since you're the 
Technically, you're the one who sieged it. I'll give you the war reparation for the ten. I've stopped losing in the Americas, by the way. Um, five. Spain prior arrived. There you go. <gasps> Actually, a big deal. My transport ships have found Portuguese transport ships. They were literally just trying to get men back to the front line so I could actually seize the war roll. So what do you guys think about just white piecing Portugal out? Yes, no? If we um, actually just wait, I'm, I, I'm about okay. to get... Uh, well, I think we get territory from them because we've occupied a lot of their stuff, shall we? Uh, well, we haven't sure occupied can... anything substantial. Yeah, so we don't, don't get stop Mexico, so it's like um, and the colonies. We want to... Alright, um, fine. I'm, I'm about to take Micronesia from them. If you occupy... Uh, do you we still have them in the war? Or just I would need to actually sail to Portugal and siege, siege Lisbon, probably. If you piece them out, I will be able to uh, to fight them. Oh, that's how how are we only at six percent? Is that because I lost the naval battle? Uh, maybe. Um, the percentages come from them controlling uh, the war goals, giving them a five percent swing. So we need to need to focus on Africa then. Is that what you're saying? Well. That was because of Austria. I'm literally getting my troops back to Africa as we speak, so that's a non-issue. Okay. Wait, no, not there. Jesus. So, funny thing, I converted all the no-guy lands that I gave to them to Vajrayana, and then they had a huge uprising of Vajrayana zealots. Uh, I invite you oh, to look a lot at of the troops. of the no-guy Khanate. So, now facing... That's a lot of Iberians in, this, in the United States. United States, quote-unquote. Um, so, oh god, why did it reach me? Hobo, uh, guys. Look at the religion of no guy in Central Asia. They've become Vajrayana because I gave them a ton of well-developed Vajrayana territories. The zealots completely overpowered their country. So now oh, they're the much better. more likely to become my vassals. You guys move south. Let's do this. Okay, I think we've taken all of their Pacific holdings and the uh, Indian Ocean. Well, thanks for that game. That was the ace up my sleeves that now I should have used in this war. So. Um. I had managed to squeak out an alliance with the Ottomans at some point. They, the only reason I didn't accept them in this because they would have demanded land. And now they've rivaled me. Yes. That honestly would have made this war easier had, you know, the Ottomans been in it. Ugh. <sighs> There we go, there's our most of our war score back. I'm missing some heavy ships. I don't know where they are. Oh my god, that is a lot. Why is the whole Spanish army still over here, for god's sake? Well, they're not all over there. I can tell you that. Well, there's like 60,000 Spanish people in South Africa. Yeah, it's 100,000. I don't know Spanish themselves, to be fair. Um, yeah, let's do this. Let's, uh, okay. Let's... Okay, guys. Uh... 
go to there. Alaska is dealing with themselves, that's good. Okay. Comanche? No, no, just waiting. This is going to be an unpleasant fight down here, I guarantee it. Adapt, I'll reiterate, you can detach your guys who are currently attached to my fleet in New Zealand. Are you sure? Well, you've I still don't... got some... Oh, oh wait, uh, those are... never mind, you know what? Those are your vassals. I am surrounded. Okay. Uh, what do we do here? I think I need to move north, and you guys need to really rush southwards, guys. Go, go, go. Getting another minor player out. Knights, okay. He got one of the two. The Spanish are idiots and moving away from me. That's good. Okay, got to home. Oh my, I just realized I've used all of my signals. This is not good. Run! <laughs> Run, you bastards. I'm fixing to try and fight the Spanish army down here, and then I'll see if there's some way I can sail over to their mainland. Just the Spanish army does not want to actually get caught very easily. I might catch some... Okay, I might catch an army here. Oh my god, I'm doing it. Okay. Come on, guys. It's time to live forever. <laughs> That's a lot of troops. They got the the minus roll. I am somehow winning. It won't last. Holy yes! biscuits! That is a ah, why stack wipe? I swear to God, the least you could do is let them run. Jesus! I don't care you have a slightly better general than me! Oh my... It's gonna happen again, and then... I don't know how I can actually fight the Spanish. Like, I can't lure them easily, and their army... They just... I... I'm not doing anything to them. You know, it, it, I just lost 90,000 men saw. to it. Ooh, that was disgusting. God. I'm just getting the Portuguese out. That didn't even get us any progress. What the hell? That should help a lot here. In the it's the age, age of absolution. They don't even have anything that should justify them being able to do that. 
I am actually confused as why they're able to do that. Like, I should at least be doing some manner of damage to them. Their army is not that much better than mine. Oof. Do you want me to just end the war? Uh... Well, I, I could fight from a small. Actually, there's forty thousand Spaniards in well, the I, states. I can't, and I have a bunch of Spaniards about to siege the war goal. All right. Like um, so we'd have to sit here for like five more years. I think uh, me, I literally can't touch the uh, the Spanish army. We should probably prioritize uh, getting daft the Australian parts. I think. Yeah, well, that's I mean the this. Thing I'm getting. It doesn't have to be priority. I mean, yes, it is. Yes. It's a high priority. They can build yeah, I'm, I'm not actually. After that, That's I'm not 100% of the mood to try to play around with it. It's a priority. You're accepting it, period. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, we, we can sort that out anytime. If we can destroy the colonial yeah. nation, that is good. That is one fewer merchant that the Spanish have. We uh, what you can do. That's big. Yeah, like, I want some of the colonial stuff. Uh, if you want, uh, oh yeah, the colonization is actually more score to do both as much as I'd love to. Just uh, dig into Australia as a prim primary, like take as much as possible of it. Nice, and let the day pass, and boom! Oh heck, wow, wow! Thank I you, gentlemen. Gave. Guru and Sula. I'm actually pissed off that. Yeah. What What is their army quality? This is something I need to look because they should not have better army quality than me. They only have slightly better morale. They have a light, tiny tick better discipline. See. Siege ability and defensiveness doesn't matter. They have less professionalism than me. Why is their army so good? I don't know. Was it just a bunch of really unlucky RNG, do you think? No, no, no. It, that battle's it happened, not RNG. It happened three times. It, that was not RNG to get deleted three times. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, What's wrong? I need to get naval access. Your your vassal just kicked me out and suddenly killed a ton of my sailors. Oh god, uh, right. So, what do I do? Do I offer you fleet basing rights? Uh, yes, please. Uh, offer fleet basing rights. Why do I have 20,000 troops in, in, in Tang? What? Okay, let's go. It's weird. Okay, uh, I'm racing straight towards your coast. I hope that my guys survive. Uh, I'll unpause. What a bleeding ache. Oh, they caught him down a pick. Oh um, no, all my ships are dying. Oh no. All of them are being killed. I uh, well, it's not like there was anything I really would have been able to do there. That's so ridiculous, I'm... Oh my god. Oh, ow, I just lost seven ships. No, tell me about it. I lost, like, uh, 40 earlier. This is a stupid reason to lose ships rather than losing... Oh, well, they're all going to die. They're all going to die. All of my That's navy. What... That's what I was thinking earlier. My, uh... Fleet was it just will actually past. take me about 80 years to recover my navy, though, because I have two coastal provinces. Jeez. Oh, there goes another one. Yeah. So is it literally not letting you move to... No, no, I can go to your area, but I don't have anything I can do in your vessels. Ah. 
Jeez, that's All right, ridiculous. Well, my, I, I've got a force stranded in New Zealand. I'll mothball my fleet in southern New Guinea. Annoyance just across the board. France well, that is one's no not longer... super annoyance. Uh, let's see, how long will it take me to get those sailors? Spain is no longer a valid rival for Tang. No, they solidly are a go stuff yourself game. Yeah, well, you are confusing. like. I don't know. I'm pretty sure losing about 200,000, borderline 200,000 men in South Africa, cause for rivalry. The only other thing that I can think of as to why that army was so good is that it was professionally trained, as in it drilled yeah. for ages, mm -hmm. which the AI is apt to do if they have money. But still, Jesus Christ. Should I dismiss Banner Infantry? At Banner, Banner armies, I don't know what they are. Oh, uh, they're got Banner units. On. Yeah, so you technically wouldn't be able to replace them. And they are technically better troops than standard troops, but yeah. So they're best. Okay. I mean, I'll just keep them then. Like, I didn't know if like it was a bad idea to keep them or not. And. Right, so, uh, to get furnaces, I need a tick before the it converts into coal. Yeah, it, it does, okay. Enlightenment, get, okay. To get furnaces, the enlightenment needs to happen, so okay. in no rush. And they oh, are immediately again. trying to... Oh, this... Question. Now, I understand both of you are trying to... Probably trying to get it at once, but... Did you ever... Did you guys settle on who was actually going to get the Philippines? We are kind of just going yeah. each side here. Um, I think... I think I'm I'm sure. And also Spain's taking the middle of it. Oh, wow. God damn it. Yeah, they literally just colonized there. And uh, you can also see that uh, we've got Hadramaut from Arabia colonizing in Sulu. Like, are actually any colonizable areas left? I've never really seen islands. Hadramaut become colonial. That's kind of cool. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, uh, Arabic nations will get colonial Asian colonial ideas in like the 1600s if they're. Wait. Oh, no, Hadramut's ambition is a colonist. Huh, I just never seen them live long enough to use it. So, uh, Hobo, question. Um, 
my lands also limit is potentially 205 because I have quality ideas so I'm thinking we'll, we could build up for another war in Africa and maybe just try and overwhelm them with numbers so I could send potentially like 150,000 troops over there to, to help out I did make Austria an ally of Spain so that's okay. one less Annoyance. Um, we'll still have the Pope and you know, Spain themselves, but. Ugh. That's just disgusting. Yeah. Well, we could literally try just to, you know, overwhelm them with numbers. I mean, yeah, we could, just at the same time, it's... In order to take a reasonable amount of land, we also need to get to Iberia. Mm. Because we only get at least 25 war score from holding the war goal. Or at most, 25 war score, rather. My ships are going to be amazing. They're not going to be able to stop my ships by the time the next war rolls around. But on land, oh, it doesn't really matter, now, does it? Mm. Look at a beautiful bike, Coco, by the way. That's great. Oh. So, did you gain one from that war, uh, Angus? What happened is that I declared with by Coco against Portugal first. Oh, uh, not okay, Portugal, right. with Mexico. Um, and then just they just did that and peaced out. Excellent. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think we're going to get offensive ideas as my next idea group in 10 years. May not be able to use it, but it'll be there. I am become a being of pure salt. Yep. Well, I'm pretty salty too. Yeah, I wasn't 100% sure how well your army was going to handle it, or your navy was going to handle up there, admittedly. It did all right in the Pacific, but as soon as I got to the west coast of Africa, it just... Yeah. Yeah, especially with so little ports on the way there. I mean, you had to sail across all of West Africa with no nearby friendly ports, so they had probably attrition pretty hard by the time they even got oh, there. Oh, I mean, the thing was, I assumed that your ports in Congo, etc., would, would help, but apparently not. Well, it... port protection only extends, like, one sea zone away. So, like, even if I had Cameroon... Um, you still would have had to sail several sea zones, never mind um, sailing through the Indian Ocean. Mm. So they were probably damaged on their way already. Boats are... Uh, boats and Paradox games in general are uh, interesting.
and potentially maddening. I have a... Okay, I had an alternative idea. Um, the AI just reminded me as to why that idea would be silly, but I'm still going to pose it anyway. Um, the next war could be declared against Portugal. Mm -hmm. That's solid. Uh, the only thing is uh, they're guaranteed by France. However, apparently France is bankrupt right now. Because they're I just looked at their colonies they have over there, and uh, they are melting. So if I did, France still would, even though... How does bank how does being bankrupt not affect your willingness to join a war? Uh, are we preparing for another war right now? I was just curious I was musing about what the next war should actually be. Mm. Like uh, I will uh, I plan to like do a quick war against Mongolia in a moment. I get yeah, it's probably, we could fine. probably uh, uh, but, uh, start uniting our sections. So, that's what you say, that uh, I get my Mindoro, and then the island there, and then you get the rest of Philippines, basically. Um. No, wait, actually, oh. those are connected to Mindoro, so um, you can get Mindoro too, I guess. Like, I was... Yeah, that uh, you get... Luzon, which is the top two areas, and then Daft gets the bottom three areas. Well, I, I'd be happy with the bottom island, whatever you call that. Um, but I, I you don't. Also, like, really just beat them up and then figure it out after. Like, I don't really want to fight Tondo because they're fighting Spain right now and they seem to be winning. Somehow. So, uh, for now. Uh, inventions of you, and I have to pay a million. Permanent yeah. navies. That'll help. Ugh, this is awful. Uh, are you a... Uh, yes. Okay. I now also need to spend a... Uh, very large amount of my money... On uh, starting to build universities. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Oh, France just rivaled me. Yeah, I eclipsed them, apparently. Wait, they're not even a great power. What the fuck are they doing? Oh, wow. Hon, hon, hon. The uh, French rivaling a British person? Well, I never. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, did I not get the right accent for it? A Frenchie rival in a British person? <laughs> God save the Queen, never heard of that before. Wow, how about that's real oh, good? That's, that's, more, that's more British than I am. Well, I knock you from here to kingdom come, so I'd be mom. Like that, I'm probably fighting Tonto soon, to be honest. Oh, right, I can do this. Oh, 
Yes. By the way, just a reminder, when Imperialism with Diplomatic Tech 23 happens, the AI can and will actually do Imperialism to uh, any minor nations that may not have proper uh, Bruneian t or Ternatan defense. Wink. <laughs> no guys are getting um, closer and closer to accepting vassalization. They've gone from minus 40 to minus 15 to minus 9. The fact that they gave them a ton of Vajrayana land and then they accidentally got converted by rebels, uh, all according to plan. All according but now they to like up. me a lot more that they're Vajrayana Buddhists. So, um, I've got two spare colonists and I can't actually colonize anyone now. Really? Uh, um, yeah, and can... there's a bit in, uh, in Molokas. Uh, there's like one there, Yeah, there is still... Can you get no, there uh, already has. But what you can do, to... other than that, uh, you can set colonists in your own provinces, then mm. they will uh, oh, wait, have a small... It's not very good, but it's, you know, better than that. To, to develop stuff, yeah, but sorry, where is... Um, you're saying there's space in the between, mall? Between your, yeah, between your two... There, there's, like, there's, no, there's not, there's, a Dutchman there's already, there. already colonists. Oh, there. okay, then you cannot. Then I think oh. everything is, uh, is used. Wow. Yeah, you yeah, can just, just use it to boost your development. Stack them yeah. on your walnut on your territories. Just remember, the more development it has, the less development, the less chance it has to increase development. Mm -hmm. So weird, there's a Dutch Mexico, and it's all like in Panama. So weird. But yeah, like, let's see, is there anything left of to colonize this, like, the, the random desert provinces, uh, some African stuff. That's basically it. Yeah, rest of Africa. God, Kilwa, you've definitely been reaching far and wide for allies, haven't you? Kilwa managed to ally Tunis, of all people. Well, Kiva's finally finishing off Transoxiana. Good on you. Good on you. Well, I say it's good on you, Gov. Yeah, I got a chance for a cheaper skill 3 trade booster, but I'm like... Okay, so if I have a big trade booster, what trade income do I get? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I, I, I I'm guess. I'm actually getting close to a point where if I can take, like, if I can move towards Samarkand, I can just start feeding my trade towards there. But I'm not quite there yet. I think I'll, I'll, I'll get there soon though, and then I'll get trade ideas, or economic uh, trade ideas, I think. All right, Mongolia. Um, hey, Tibet. Hmm. Did I really just do that? What's up? Um, do you want to be called into this war specifically so I can give you stuff? Yes, yes. What I'm, more? I'm, I, uh, Mongolia. I'm, I'm, I'm also sure ready to fight them, by the way. And ah. I will just like to jump in when you guys do. It's just because it would be really nice to have their army divided. I have enough to deal with it, but it's just Should like. Should I raise my troops? Awesome. Here's your answer. They don't have a large army. Um, and I would actually perhaps request for Japan to hold just long enough for me to get what we have here. I'll try to do my best to delete their army. So that way you don't have you to worry attack. about it. Just... Um, I can just attack now. 
Well, uh, yeah, that's... We want the wall score. Yeah, sure. Yeah. If we were both attacking, we would separate the war score. Yes. There's not a lot of land, it's just enough. I just can't uh, cause a spelly colonialism war against um, Poland over pa their colonization of Papua New Guinea. So I'm yeah. considering just going Over for that. The Allied uh, Brandenburg, Provence, Bremen, Friesland. So I figure they won't be too much of an issue. Yeah, I don't think colonialism. Yeah. You might want. I don't know. Can you can you uh, do that without taking the capital? I guess you can technically. Yeah, if you declare war for the specific territory, you're going to get 25 war score, which would be plenty to uh, actually take something with. Mm. So yeah, now I might do also that. at the uh, colony stuff. Are you guys planning a war in Asia? I didn't quite know which uh, you were doing, but... Uh, we're fighting just Mongolia. Yeah. Mongolia. Oh, okay. The Mongolians have been... Yeah, if Have I could get Guli aside, that would be great. Which is to say, the Uli Asai state of Karakuram, San Noyon, and uh, Tsetseleg. No, no, I understand. I understand. You uh, have a uh, extreme interest in the black gold. I ain't talking about oil. <laughs> Like sea lots. That's new. Yes, let me just go humiliate. Um, the Ottoman Empire. I just noticed a Mongol army racing for Lhasa, and I'm like, what are you doing? Get out of here, you silly. Why are you running? How did he even get in there? I have an impenetrable wall of forts. Oh, well, they went through you. Yeah. You know what? I need to fortify my border with you. It's the only, only option. Well, you know, once I straighten the border up here, there's going to be an impenetrable line of forts between us and between me and Russia. It's also why we need to clean up Mongolia. Makes sense. However, I do have good news. Unless good you news desperately everyone. want, uh, unless you desperately want a small chunk of money. Uh. I don't desperately want a small chunk of money. Well, then you desperately get land. Cool. There we go, Japan. You're all set. I know I've asked this several times, but I keep forgetting, uh, where is the button to add province to your parliament? So yeah, give, it, give a province a seat in parliament. Uh, can, uh, on the territory view, mm -hmm. in the top left. Top left, uh, Next to his name. Oh, yeah, there's seats up at the top, yeah, I got it. 
Thank you. I keep forgetting. Yeah. When I was doing Sun Invasion, I actually had an interesting thing of, uh... I was a Republic, to start with. Hmm. And uh, as such, I decided to do a Parliament, which, uh... Parliament's actually really good early game. Because if you're being a heavy colonizer, your parliament can give you an extra colonist. Yeah. So I ended up having four in the 1500s. Wow. British conquest against Bohemia. Uh, okay. Now the, that British Croatia is definitely something. Oh, I thought you beat more of them out here. Okay. In this case, to put me to. Oh, no crap. That's what happens when I'm not paying attention. Please don't wipe. It's just the only thing I don't want. They won't wipe. Okay, they don't wipe. So, for reference, just for my uh, method of thinking when I was bringing up potentially the declaring war on Portugal instead of Spain, mm. is that we can peace out Spain mm. uh, without having to have them as the primary player in the war. Which makes sense. Um, could you take Portuguese South Africa then, um, potentially? Yeah, I could take Portuguese South Africa and with... Spain, the Spanish forces not in the war, we could potentially sail all the way to Portugal to uh, besiege them and uh, potentially help uh, with Portuguese Mexico go being ceded to someone who uh, would probably not disagree with having that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, um, I'm done for that. This, this thing's uh, Portuguese... Uh, colonies I, in Papua. And, I am uh, not ready yet, though. Also, uh, uh, friends, kind of yeah, of course. There was something beautiful that I saw in the land far away. 
Um, there was a place where there are a bunch of very, very high snow-capped mountains in Altiplanos. At the far end of the journey that my ships went on, I saw a beautiful, beautiful mountain range with a lot of high lands in it. What are your guys' thoughts of uh, Tibetan colonial Andes? <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect, in my opinion. It's very good. I mean, maybe, I just don't know what you would gain from it. Other than Nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> but, I mean, think about it. I mean, the sad thing is I wouldn't be able to, like, culturally Tibetanize the area. Yeah, I really wish there was a way to change the culture in your vassals in the same way that there's a way to convert them. Mm. and develop their land and do all this other stuff besides changing the culture next goal, which is a monetary one, is, um... Making universities everywhere. There's a rebel somewhere and I have no idea where it is. So fast is so annoying. Screw it, just go there. All right, things are going a bit crazy. Uh, Afghanistan is being invaded by Delhi and Baluchistan right now, so I'm going to go to war with Uzbek and Delhi. Sods never knew what hit them. Chang Sing sends us a letter. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. <laughs> 
can definitely tell they're being protected by Daft with a uh, comment like that. <laughs> Uh, by the way, to bet, how are you doing for money? Doing I know you said you... Um, I'm doing pretty good for money, actually. I know you said you were in debt. Um, no well, I'm in debt, but it's the, it's the estate kind of debt. Uh, would you like some money? I guess I'm asking. Uh, yeah, if you send me money, I will definitely use it. I will send you and monies. Um, just yeah, let me and get monies. a... Need to get a free uh, diplomat. Okay, I've sent you one off stuff. Did you get that, Chaos? Yes, I did. No? Oh. Okay, cool. I mean, you could say thanks or something, I don't know. Uh, sorry, I, 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 I <laughs> might have managed <laughs> Okay, okay. Wow, his shmeeple's starting to show up in other games. <laughs> I just want to be appreciated. You certainly are. As do we all. Oh. Ah, crap. I just lost a big battle. Uh, something, something, favorite alloy. There we go. Well, I'm too fronting a big war right now. Oh my god, Chang Sheng insulted me. Wow. It's because their leader is a babbling buffoon. <laughs> Choose to insult you at random times. Oh, but then my subjects, I can't go warn them without a penalty. <laughs> I thought you were actually going to declare one, of course. That'd be, that'd be silly. Um, you know what? I'm, I think I'm going to cancel the tributary because they're, they're not giving me anything anyway. Why is Mongolia so fast? So annoying. Okay. So, if you just like to. Like, wait. Like this. Oh, lol. Let's do that. That's 10% extra land me. But that's 10% yearly. You know, I'll take it. Reenacting some war games. Uh, ignore the gunfire on your border, everyone. Everything's perfectly fine. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. We're just pretending to shoot each other. Just, uh, we haven't invented rubber bullets yet, so... Sounds legit. I mean, in total, it gets me 15 army 
professionalism, which is not a small amount. Even if that's an extra 10% land maintenance, it's going to hurt. Why so hold so fast? It's so annoying. For so I'm hold. micromanaging a bunch of guys who are running around for like central. Yeah, basically, and, uh, like, okay, so you're going to Satsu. Okay. Like, even though when I trap them, I can't trap them because I'm moving so fast. I like how uh, Tibet Oops. already knows that Uzbek is theirs, given the Tibet name just walks over Uzbek anyway. Watch your guy walk. <laughs> Watch your whole extension. <laughs> oh well. Actually, we have this thing talking here, so we should go through up here. It's just going with this. How much does it add if it's still like this? You know, 6%. I just realized something. I did a really, really good reenactment of the Chinese army during this era when I was fighting Spain. How is this happening? We are superior. How is this happening? We're superior. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Thanks, I hate it. Just, it was maddening that I'd get stack wiped within days of the battle starting. I don't know how. Apparently worth it to note that there's 33,000... Um... Spanish troops in the uh, Indian Ocean.
was cut off. Anyway. Japan has surpassed China in development. What? What? <laughs> How the fuck did that happen? Because uh, while your home development isn't the same as mine, uh, you get half of your subject's development in it. Ah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm also kind of kind of in a civil war. It's a little bit. Should be okay. Apparently, I'm, I'm getting all these alliance requests from... That's cut up, yes. But where's Cattle? Thanks for exporting those rebels, by the way, Tibet. So it was not about rebels? You exported rebels into my land. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just getting some troops. Constructing a tributary state, apparently. Why you would, I have no clue. Uh, sorry, Hobo, what'd you say? Apparently, you can construct buildings in a tributary state. Yeah. Um, well, I knew you could do that in your vassal states. 
Yeah, right. I just don't know why you do it in the tributary. Hmm. You are a head of production. Wait, what? Oh god! Should I? I have the governing capacity. Apparently our alliance got broken again, Hobo. No, that was the subsidies. Oh, um, well, uh, I can't move into your land. Ask for military access, because apparently you don't have it. Um, Angst, I can take care of those rebels for you in the Philippines. Oh, that, that'd be plenty nice, thank you, actually, because I don't need to. You can, uh, you can owe me a favor for future. Sounds good. My truce of Spain expired. Quick, guys, let's immediately the cut. Oh, just ah, Africa. Boy, the 1700s. Where for some reason their models are uh, dudes in rags and barefoot. Well, sounds French to me. Um, oh, uh, apparently I can't move into your territory, Angst. Do I have to, uh... I can send you a... Well, that's... Thank you, sir. This is, uh, one of the most powerful African nations, uh, standard garb for their soldiers right now. Hmm. Oh, that did skin. Hey guys, just one more year. You'll be fine. Alright, I'll go for a fast platform break. It's just as the game run. So how are you guys doing for time and energy? Um, I could go for another hour or so, at least. It's past midnight here, but I, I would normally be awake at this time anyway. How about you guys? I'm doing pretty well, although my family would like to do some things because Claire's heading out fairly soon. Oh, okay, well, I mean, if we, we have done three hours, so if you wanted to stay up soon, not, not school to me. No, I'll, uh, I'll yeah. consult on this end. No, you have to stay with us against the rules. 
or something. Okay, that's actually really funny that I went there, I destroyed the Mongol Separatists, and then just another group showed up. Yeah, just they're mine instead. So is Claire uh, staying with you up in Whitehorse? Just yes, curious, because yeah. um, the I think the last I heard she was studying in Vancouver still. That's um, correct, yes. Did, did she finish studying? Oh, she's just been up for uh, since Christmas. Oh, okay, I guess as a, as a new term not started yet. Yeah, something. And yeah, she's doing master stuff, so... Uh, Doesn't have to be exactly there in person at all times. I see. I physically cannot roll a good general to save my life, Jesus Christ. Mm. Like, literally every single general I've rolled this session has had like six or less pips mm. and they really really like putting them in maneuver There. Yes. There we go. Spain is at war with Russia. No way. What are they fighting over? Attack in Sweden. Okay, Russia is going to get Sweden. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, or like, whatever is left of Sweden, I guess. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, so they're gonna get Finland. <laughs> because, yeah. God damn it.
Imagine yeah, France, the only one France being exploded. Alive. Imagine the only one being alive to carry on the Scandinavian legacy. Being a Finnish person. <laughs> kind of sad. <laughs> I was going to say, what do you think about that, Hanks? It's kind of sad. Bush chucked him out. I'm actually confused here, because that's mixed tech, yeah. What the hell? So now that I'm not in the midst of uh, frantically clicking on things, thank you very much for your uh, for your monetary support there earlier, Daft Panzer. Oh, no worries. <laughs> I'm truly appreciative of it. Oh, yeah, not thanking me for the subsidies or anything, of course. I am, of course, immensely thankful to his greatness, the Emperor of China. Long may he reign. I mean, there is about... 10 extra titles in there that you could have used, but... Son of heaven. <laughs> that almost sounds like an insult. It's like, son of but heaven. I'm just thinking of that, like, disgustingly extra long title in England or whatever. It has, like, 40 names on it. Oh, you I mean, uh, know. Her Own Highness, Queen of Great Britain, uh, oh, sorry, Queen of the United Kingdom of England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and, uh, something, 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 something. Now I need to, uh, find it again. Hector of the Whelm, Master of Coin, Commander of Armies, Ward Permanent of the West. Question is, should we Hollandia? Or should ah, we? there we go. So, so let's see. There's the wrap up at the hour, okay. shall we? Okay. Sure. There is a, uh, one of the things you can do in, uh, Hearts of Iron 4 is decide to, as the UK, have the king do whatever he really wants to the point that the parliament's like, look, the king isn't listening to us, so we're just going to walk out until he starts listening to us. And then you continue to not listen to them. So you end up becoming a monarchy. <laughs> Which, uh, something, something British austerity, I don't know if that's that would be historically accurate to a British parliament or not. Um, yeah. usually, okay. uh, I mean, it, it does sound a bit far-fetched that uh, the British parliament in the middle of the, uh, the 20th century would allow itself to revert to a monarchy, but, you know. Well, they depends staged a the walkout on... because the king wasn't actually listening to yeah. their advice. And then, uh, they decide to, then you eventually just get the king in charge. But as having the king, having King George in charge, um, one of the main issues with this is that he wanted to marry a lowborn mm. rather than marrying, you know. I mean, so called lowborn, but yeah, I'm not. Yes. She was not uh, an aristocrat. Although she is the American equivalent of aristocracy. Well, yeah. And, um... Uh, bring up on my other screen, so because I'm still clicking. I think it's... It's like she was a, a divorce, divorcee as well. It was some kind of taboo at the time. Already been married, so that was a no no. Yeah, he could have just solved that problem by assassinating her former husband. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm not sure that would have changed things, <laughs> but I know. But uh, apparently, you can eventually um, 
put the king in the throne. Oh my and goodness. Then uh, I'm they fighting decide... Russian guys. Oh what? my. Uh, You're fighting Russian? What yeah, no guy. Um, let's see. A uh, no guy is. Yeah. Oh. Ah, you... Oh. No guy yeah, got played kind of on before guarantee. you could vassalize okay. them. Well, this is awkward. How she look? Are looking? Uh, two hundred thousand more. To go. <laughs> actually, in that case, I might actually no. You don't do that. I was actually pre pre preparing against Tonga Tondo. Um. Yeah, me too. Actually, I was literally just about to attack. Yeah. Um, I've I've got a coin in the south, so I was going to go for like one or two provinces on the South Island down here. Yeah, um, I was um I was thinking about uh, I got loose on basically. Um, sure, yeah, like anything in the north and middle, I'm happy here to take. Uh, I... Oh, only down there? Well, I was thinking you would at least get Visayas, honestly, but uh, we'll see. I think all, all I'd really want is to you uh, unite the southern island, whatever it's called, mm -hmm. where I've already got some colonies, maybe. But I think uh, with uh, with Chaos fighting, fighting Russia, I will mm -hmm. see if I can help. Yeah. Um, in some way. That's definitely a problem right now. Okay, um, and I have so many troops in the world. Um, I think what's my force limits? Uh, <laughs> my force limit is 150 below what Russia has at the moment. So that's uh, yeah. No, the Chinese army is currently in Africa. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Iggy, I think. So what do we do here? I'm gonna fight them because otherwise I lose my uh, my friendship with no guy, which I've been cultivating oh. for a long time. These oh. fools, if they just accepted vassalage, this would have been so much easier. Yeah. Would you like to? Can you call me in, Iggy? Because I'd be happy to help. Uh, I can no, raise like they haven't primaried me, so no. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's technically a secondary partner in the war. Oh, Spain just insulted me, so I could go towards Spain. Oh, it doesn't match me, and I have to re-insult re Spain. Thank you for bringing it up. Yeah. The Spain, the Spanish know nothing about running a state. All right. Uh, what's my other rivals? Russians. Go. Yeah, I think I'll like try to move my. I stop in position and see if I can do something about Russia at all. And is, is there any way I can help you, Iggy? Because I can raise like a hundred thousand troops, essentially. All you can really uh, do is would be Sinkandatieri, but that's only going to be a fraction of your army. So Russia and I are both Miltoni too. Oh my god, they just mowed down my tier 4 castle like it was nothing. It went down in like two ticks. Jeez. Alright. What the heck? This is promising. Uh, castles are at rank 3 at this point. Like, what can I even do against these? It seems like all of Chang is in And they had almost 30,000 cannons there. I guess Russia is, is that, but... Um, that's awkward. Fuck these rebels, you move back there. Asuka, can you please do something about your own rebels?
Yeah, like I'll prepare my armies in, around Russia, but I'm not sure if we can actually intervene. Um, we need at least Tang also. I think. Yeah, Basically. again, I, since he's not the primary player, I wouldn't be able to send a worthy army anyway. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm considering I, I could attack them, but. They probably hopefully just gonna to vassalize no guy, nothing else. Yeah, nah, good. they have permanent claims and all that stuff. They would a hundred percent just annex it. <laughs> oh god damn it! Oh my god, there's a lot of Russians. Jesus Christ! Restart generals and everything. Oh my god. Oh, that looks bad. Oof. Uh, don't get wiped. Don't get wiped. Okay, no wipe. Oh, shit. Sound. My reinforcements arrived two, two days late. Uh. Yeah, sorry it's another stack wipe at least. Right. No scout stack wipe. Okay. What's the wall going? Minus us live on. Hang on, guys. I just need to pause for a moment uh, so that I can make a call to order dinner for my family. Sure. Okay. Just a sec. Left this mass racing troops at this point. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think I think we can't intervene in this war. But then I think like maybe the next big big thing will be against Russia. So we can liberate your provinces again if it takes something.
Yeah. I'll begin to get soldiers households out. Um trying to get some stuff building against the Russians. Yeah, I'm uh I need to get reinforcements to um Tondo because they actually have quite a huge army over here, so thirty six thousand. Right. I've only got 32k that landed on the 7 Island, so I need to get reinforcements. I think I'll be able to do it. You know what? I will join down there. No, so it's, it's um. Well, I, I need cool. to. I need to do. Oh, actually, yeah, because you otherwise you won't get the war score. But yeah. Well, I'm no <laughs> no pressure on you, but I guess. If you were going to attack Tondo, now would be a good time, since they're, they're focused against me and yourself. Yeah. I am uh, trying to do what I always said that I'm going to do in literally every campaign that I still have yet to do, and most of them. Which is actually conquer Zimbabwe. That's why I'm down here. <laughs> so that's a little bit annoying, considering it's a lot more open than it seems because of the amount of uh, yeah. empty space land. But it does mean you can start colonizing again. Yeah. Which is nice. Just... I entirely whiffed on... Kill uh, conquering Somalia as well, so I have a lot more to conquer before I can actually peace out. Hmm. It's like I get annoyed, you know, for what I and you know the area between uh, Mali area and uh, Ethiopia, those two provinces, and uh, the 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 Saharan Strait route provinces too. I I kind of get annoyed if those things come, they don't get colonized <laughs> for some reason. I know it's I know it's awful, but yeah. All right, I'm back. Hi, back. I'm dead. <laughs> All, All right. right. So, um, no. Iggy, I will, um, I will not intervene in this war in particular, but I think the next big war will be targeted against yeah. Russia. I'll start I, getting I households. Well, I may well lose some things, but we'll see. Yeah. I'm on passing. Well, uh, since I still have it up on the side, I know the conversation's gone elsewhere by now, but. There was the reason why I brought up the whole Hearts of Iron 4 topic is because there was a really, really long title that you can do with that. Um, if you manage to conquer America as monarchist Britain, you could actually put the uh, new queen in charge of America, and she gets one of those hilariously long titles. That's cool. Mm. Her Majesty Queen Wallace, first of her name, by the grace of God, Queen of the Americas, Grand Admiral of the Royal American Navy, Duchess of Wallington, Duchess of Manhattan, Duchess of Long Island, Countess of Orange. She just keeps going for like ten, for like fifteen more titles. <laughs> Terror of Wallington, D.C. <laughs> Instead of Washington. I'm trying to figure out... Wait, what? No. I'm trying to figure out where Chaktamol is. Isn't that a Aztec? Chaktamol... Yeah, oh, that... Some... Oh, I thought this was uh, Holland. Okay, I found him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, is, isn't that a Mayan? Apparently. <laughs> Why don't you just mine your own business? Ooh, 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 ooh.
Nice, I just smashed a Georgian army. You did? That's nice. Yeah, and Karakal pack. I don't really care if they go for my far northern stuff. I only worry if they actually come into my core. Big battle in southern Philippines against Tondo. Uh, just going That's to great. win it. Boom. Almost 100,000 troops involved. It's kind of crazy, really. I mean, historically, I didn't think it was that well developed. Uh, I get because it basically builds tall. It ends up getting really well developed. Well, uh, yeah, I guess. So. Well, I guess not hugely. I mean, it's 20, 20, 17, 27. Tondo really hasn't done as much development as I thought it would. Huh. Well, I guess historically by now it would be part of the uh, Spanish Empire, right? Yeah, and that's what we've immediately stopped, actually. Yeah. <laughs> If it wasn't for those Cambodians colonizing the nearby land, it already would have been. Alright, no guy. Cut a piece. Cut a piece. No guy. Please cut a piece. As if the AI is not going, it going to piece out unless they can actually get something. Yeah. No guy's going to expect you to basically siege all of Russia because there's uh, Russia holds no guy cores, so they're not going to want to peace out unless they're exhausted. Well, at the very least, this is putting a roadblock on Russia. Now a colonialism should spawn here. Three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. English, Japanese translator. to name this something. So what? That's annoying. Oh, here. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to name this Mehi Mekishiko. There you go. Nothing quite like having to intercept your out your uh, enemies' uh, rebels while you're fighting them. Oh. 
Oh, gold rush. Well, my admiral just pulled a, uh, pulled a brain fart, because I can't remember the person that's going to reference. Trafalgar. The person who was there. Horatio Nelson. Horatio. My admiral just pulled a Nelson. He had a glorious battle against the Kilwin fleet, and then died immediately after. Oh. Get into another war, get into another war, get into a different war with someone else. Ottomans, fight the Russians, please. Victory is mine! Take a look at that glorious Africa. <laughs> oh, worth it. Uh, what did you? Who did you kill? I see you're expanded in Southeast Africa. Yeah, where all the gold mines are. I beat up Kilwa. Oh, okay. I was wondering why Cuba, uh, not the Cuba, Cuba, the Cuba over here in the Congo, was still alive, and I realized somehow it's allied to France, even though it's a three-territory fetishist nation. Mm. Four. I'm also trying my darndest to get the universities up for the Enlightenment. That's... It's about 700, right? 1700? 1700, yeah. Oh my god, my army's retreating to a very bad spot.
I'm dangerously close to tapped on manpower. But I did just get the set of quality ID of quantity ideas, I should say. That's good. That is good. Did I get defensive yeah, equality? I am, I am actually holding out okay here. If you feel like doing your own separate thing, you know, I'm keeping it. Uh, I could move my, my, my armies back from Tondo, honestly. Um, question is just... I just beast out of Tondo. I've, I've taken the southern Maryland. Come at me, Russia. <laughs> so really impressed. I've stack wiped several Russian armies, but I don't think I'm going to be really able to put that much of a dent in Russian manpower. We'll see. Cut a piece, cut a piece, no guy. Your only response is no you. <laughs> Fucking no guy. Yeah, AI is insane. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm I'm basically preparing to invade Russia at the moment. It just like I'm about to sack wipe another. Every time the Russians come into Ustirt, I charge in, destroy their siege stack, and then run away. The place between <laughs> Arl and Caspian. Oh, I can do this. So now I can. Right? Oh, no, not yet. Okay. I think I'll buy five universities, universities just to set up. Yeah. Because if I can do that, then I can at some point pop the Golden Age. I won. What? Guys, yes. He, no yeah, guy just. Uh, okay, so here's the piece. No guy gave yeah. away four, three territories to Russia. I had to give Aksarian Fa to Russia. Which ones are those? I need to see what what you lost. I honestly. need to see what I lost. As well. What did he lose? Uh. Ashkan. What? Aksari and Va. I'm trying to figure out where those are. Actually, I can't figure it out. It's not there. What the fuck? So. Oh, they changed no? their names once he got them. Oh. Mm. Uh, so, which ones are they? Oh, there. Okay, I think it's like a uh, cock check or something like that because you're. Yeah. Wait, I can still probably see this. They're Kemerovo and Kokchetov, yeah. Yes. That was uh, impressive. Jesus Christ, man. Well, guys, we now know that Russia's on the on the move. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm starting really. actually militarizing here. Um, You're not really on the move. They only declared run no guy because it was just you. <laughs> uh, no guy will now accept vassalage. By the way, <laughs> that's actually kind of nice. This, 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 this is. Everything's turning up Millhouse, my friends. <laughs> nah, I think Millhouse is uh, kind of conquered by now. Oh, enough of you. No, I know Millhouse actually exists over there in, uh, in Germany. It's alive. Well, that was hype. That was like a legit desperate fight that eventually yeah. Russia's like, we're paying too much for this. Let's just cut and run. Yeah. And ultimately, I lost two like unimportant territories. And you're getting no guy in a deal. The funny thing is, one of them was literally a territory I'd recently taken from the... Uh, from uh, the blah, Uzbeks. Huh. Yeah, one of them was six development, one of them was three development. Well done, Mr. Czar. Get out of my country. Ah, uh, crap. I tried to fight rebels and I forgot that I'd loaded my army maintenance. Oh god, Oops, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Oh well. Uh... I'm actually trying to finally finish the mine wind <laughs> since the start of the game. Uh, I need 
to build. Uh, well, only fifty more ships. That's 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 that's, that's, that's not too bad. I guess all things considered. Um, how are you going? Poised to uh, finish your session. This is a good in a spot way, for me it? to finish right now. Yes, I can oh, finish okay. time. I was going to say like finish in a wee bit, but I I can also uh, finish. Well, I've got I've got to run downtown and pick up dinner for my family, and it's going to be oh, okay. Pick up at the half hour. Okay. So yeah. We need to finish up in the next couple of minutes. So if the next little bit that's means cool for the next me. couple of minutes, then that's good for me too. I uh, I should probably get to bed fairly soon, so uh, that works for me. Perfect. Yeah, All is Sunday. Well in the world. No Sunday guys. always goes so quick. No guy, I know it doesn't it. Well, hey, you know, I, I promise you guys, I'll I'll get myself fired or something so we can have fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just quit my job and uh, then we can. Uh, so that we can, yeah, and just be huge uh, sponges. Yeah. All right, and what I'm gonna do now that No Guy's my vassal, I'm just going to do reconquest stuff for No Guy. I feel like there's jokes in there somewhere, like No Guy. No Guy can defeat me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and also, uh, I was also able to grab a decent amount of land off of Delhi when I fought the Uzbeks. I was happy I finally have uh, Zimbabwe. Oh, cool. Okay, now here's the tricky question. Annex Begu or keep them around as my hyper competent vassal? I think I I think I'm gonna have to annex them because I'm <laughs> getting full. Why well, you don't want them to uh march twenty thousand men all the way to Moscow while we're fighting the Russians? <laughs> I mean, I appreciate what they did there, but I've got no guy now. Yeah, but no guy's on the border, so they'll always get crushed. Mm. Pegus. Personally, I prefer having one guy or two guy, but no guy is good too. Mm. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> one guy, two guy, three guy. I am uh, still slowly working on universities. They should be done by 1700, but I was just hoping, no, they'd be done sooner so I could start building other things, because I have... I'm earning so much money from war reparations from Delhi. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Besides a couple territories in the far north that I took from Mongolia, every single one of my territories, on top of having... A uh, workshop and a manufactory, besides the territories that produce grain and fish. Every single one also has a temple, too, and I need to upgrade those. But I, don't, I haven't had the money. So building universities. So, another nice thing about the Northern Territories I lost if you look at the fortifications map mode, my big wall is still intact. Well, that's mm. interesting. You can see how I've got the outer the outer wall and the inner wall of Tibet. I'm not sure how easy it is to see for you guys, but I'll show you with a screenshot. Yeah, so this we showed up building stuff. Yeah, yeah, there's the fort level map mode, which is what am I? something. Like so, it's so weird to get becoming a like a smoker because all of a sudden you start like I'm just like looking, looking for my juice, oh, no, and man. and it means that it's it's just somewhere in a couch, right? But I'm you get out fidgety, you know. Like I want to find it now, and it's like what what's actually gonna happen? <laughs> it's it's so dumb. Okay. Um, oh no! I have to rise up here. So, my goal, of course, is to colonize enough that I can force a tributary state on the inner nations of Africa. Oh, that's it. Good news, everyone. Uh, we just found the reincarnation of my next ruler. Oh. Oh, cool. Thank Wait, goodness. the reincarnation of your next ruler. Well, okay. So, basically, uh, 
the way I'm interpreting how it works is that I'm ruled by alternating Dalai Lama and Panchen Lama, because every time my previous ruler dies, there's a hunt for the new uh, reincarnation. So I get the sense that it's just alternating between the two different Lamas. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I, I get that part. It's a, you found the reincarnation of your next ruler. Yeah, yeah, and I got to... Yeah, I found the what? reincarnation of the guy who will be my new ruler, but he's just a baby right now. But no, what? Uh, you, you found the reincarnation of the guy who will become your new ruler, so yes, you found because... someone who... No, no, as a, like, think about... like Are you phrasing that intentionally? Because it's so weird. So, I found the reincarnation of someone, as in, yes. I found uh, the baby who, uh, in a previous life, was my last ruler. Yeah, okay, you're not, you're not, you're not, okay, so basically, okay, so, yeah, I, I, so you are saying what I think you're saying, but you, you phrased it like, I found the reincarnation of a guy who's, who's not dead yet, but like, yeah. you found the, I found <laughs> the reincarnation the of, of, yeah, so you said, I found the re reincarnation of a baby, and it's like, what, like, I, so, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think you understand, that's, uh, I understand what yeah. you mean. All right, recovering manpower. Uh, so yeah, let's let's finish it up here. Okay. Uh, before we save, let's just do this, like yeah, this. There you go. I'm recovering manpower as well. Uh, once I build the universities, I'm going to start building the uh, soldiers' houses on all of the grain. It should get me quite a bit of man extra manpower because that's like 2,000 each before I also build a barracks. So that will be most helpful. And all of my cores of Zimbabwe are also coming in. Just want to wrap that up. Oh, thank you guys very much for the help in Australia, New Zealand, etc. Uh, yeah. Oh god, I just got two uh, simultaneous uprisings. I'm having a lot of rebel problems in uh, uh, various territories. I, 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 do, need to, I need to, do need to get running quite quickly. Oh, I was cool. oh, I'm, stuff. So I'm, I'm good to stop here. I'm good. Okay, we are good to pause. Yes. Yep. Global, if you'll uh, do yep. the honors. Uh, second... Just a reminder to myself, I need to deal with the rebels next time. Alright, one thing I was waiting for, done, so... Hold on. Let's see, uh, instructions for myself. Um, trade, fleet, Polynesia, plus prepare army versus Urus. Mm, and I, uh, I probably want to fight Portugal next session if I can. Honestly, are they still yeah. allied to Spain? I guess they are. Yeah. Yeah, but getting Spain out and then fighting Portugal is a lot easier than getting Portugal mm. out and then fighting Spain. So, if we could do a, a joint war, Hobo, would that help you? If you could take Portuguese South Africa and I, I can take yeah. like you guys. Papua New Guinea. Cool. Uh, actually, I just had a hilarious thought. Uh, I could technically just uh, le transfer this call to my phone and when I'm driving, just chat with you guys post game <laughs> as I drive down. <laughs> All right. Uh, catch you guys in a bit. I'm going to disconnect from the chat. I might be back in a moment if I can get that to work. Okay.